I find it very difficult to sympathize with Pauline. I think part of that is that I'm writing from Hadley's point of view, and here's a woman who comes along who is her best friend, who seduces her husband in plain sight, who goes for him with absolute determination and certainty as if she has an idea that she is fated to be his second wife. She makes no apologies and on top of that seems to need Hadley's approval also along the way. So when I was doing my research I would find these these letters and cables. So on one side she's writing Ernest these love messages and on the other side, writing to Hadley simultaneously, I haven't heard from you in some time. Don't you still love me anymore? I mean, it's sort of diabolical the way that she needed to, um, the way that she needed to sort of have, uh, have them both uh, be loyal to her and available to her simultaneously. It's a little bit, it's a little bit twisted. And of course, if you read A Movable Feast too, Hemingway's own take on that time is so s clipped and 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 regretful you don't really have an in he just writes something very very flip like and if you have very bad luck indeed you might fall in love with two women at once but for Hadley it was a dual betrayal she was being betrayed by her husband and her best friend simultaneously and I think it really sent her for a loop that it took her m many 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 years to recover from so in Bohemian Paris sort of monogamy was kind of like a three-headed giraffe. No one could understand why anyone would want to do it, and yet Ernest and Hadley had a wonderful marriage, and I think most of their friends saw him as a kind of rarefied, holy thing, this, this partnership which was profound, and I think that they themselves, Hemingway and Ernest, believed that they were invincible. But what happens? Pauline Pfeiffer comes along in 1925, and she's the proverbial snake in the garden. And, and she ruins everything, and, um, and it's a tragedy.